Hello, everybody. Preacher Lady on Wheels tuning in for a short moment. God bless you all in Jesus' name. I was reading the book of Acts chapter 2, verse 38. It says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent. We're going to have to ask God for forgiveness. Come to him. Say, Lord, um, I may not know everything that I need to know, but Lord, where I'm at today, Lord, I want to repent of my sins. And I want to say, God, forgive me, Lord. Lord, help me do better than I've ever done. Lord, help me be better than I was yesterday, God, for your glory. And then it says to be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin. So you've got to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. There's no other name. I don't care where you at where are you from but it says the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promises unto you to your children and to though into all that are afar off even as many as the Lord our God shall call hallelujah so we're gonna have to repent of our sins we're gonna have to be baptized in Jesus name and it says you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost that's something that God gives you it's a gift it's one of the first gifts that you get whenever you become a Christian and you get in that safe condition Hallelujah. But I want to let you know that God loves you and I love you and I want you to, you know, learn. I want to learn. I learn something new almost every day. I learn something new in God's word, through God's ministers, uh, you know, through God's uh, word. Sometimes you can read something a hundred times in the Bible and it'd be the same verse. But let me tell you something. One day God might open your eyes and your mind and then it's like, boom, you have re revelation to what it truly meant. And that has happened to me many times. And I can't explain it to you. But whenever God opens your eyes to it, that's why we got to read the Bible and we got to be faithful to God and go to church and, you know, do everything that we have been called to do. The gifts and the callings are without repentance, you people. I love you all. And I want you all the best for you, especially through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But I wanted to let y'all know that there's a lot of people that's out here. They're fake preachers, fake teachers, fake pastors, evangelists. A lot of them, there's a lot of fakes and faults that's going on. There's a lot of false baptism going on. Let me tell you, I've seen this thing on uh, the Facebook, and it said that uh, there was a uh, satanic rally going on and these people were paying ten dollars to get unbaptized they was getting a upside down cross on their forehead and then they would say hell satan if y'all don't know that i'm telling you time is winding up people if there's ever a time to be trying to live right and do right and get your life right with god today is the day and we've got to pick each and every day you can't just serve him one day and one day you don't it says choose this day whom you may serve and you got to get up and say god i choose you each and every day get up and say god i choose you lord i choose you and his name is jesus praise god hallelujah and also there's other people they've been baptized in the father the son and the holy spirit and all this stuff but let me tell you acts chapter 2 verse 38 says baptize in the name of jesus christ for the remission of your sins so there ain't no remission in any other name or title that you're getting baptized in so if you've been um baptized in the father the son and the holy spirit or the holy ghost whatever you want to call it then you've been falsely baptized. And I tell you this with the love of God in my heart, my mind, and my soul. And I'm trying to give you enlightenment because a lot of people don't even know. I've had people, my friends, my family that don't even know. And whenever you tell them, it's like it just a light bulb comes on. And they're like, oh my goodness, I never knew. I never knew. But until you have that hope and heart and mind to be able to receive God's word truly, then you will just be blinded to it. You'll turn it, your ear to deafness. You'll make your eyes as they were blind. And you'll have a conscience that's sealed with a hot, hot iron. And hallelujah, I don't want to be like that. I always want to be an open mind with God of learning. And there's been things that I had done years and years and years of, you know, being a Christian that I didn't know that was wrong. But you know what? Whenever that same scripture that I had read... Uh, five and ten and twenty times when God just puts a magnifying glass over it into your heart and your mind and your soul and he says oh wow he illuminates it to what hey that's what that meant and then you stop doing whatever God has showed you that is a sin because you've got to realize when God is speaking to you and he speaks a lot through um to you through prayer and fasting and also through the word of God by reading it hallelujah and there's no other thing that I would rather do right now than just be serving God with all my heart my mind and my soul I'm telling you I have never had a walk with God like I have now 
now. And I plan to continue to grow in him. Hallelujah. It's been a wonderful thing growing in God. Um, also, I've seen this thing. One of my sisters in the Lord had posted a, uh, shared a post on Facebook. And it was so true. So, I wanted to spread the word on out to people. If you were to write a check. And it said, to the father, the son, and the husband. Okay, well, it says on here that, sorry, your check is declined due to incorrectness of the name. I cannot go. Use me in it as an example. If someone wrote me a $100,000 check and they wrote daughter, mother, wife. They're going to tell me, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. I don't know who that is. But if they give me a $100,000 check and they say, Jennifer Roach, they're going to be able to cash that check for me. So, hallelujah, that's a good example of saying these are titles. Father is a title. Son is a title. Husband is a title. Uh, Holy Spirit is a title. But let me tell you, Jesus' name is a name, a proper name. It's not a title. Anybody that, you know, went to school and had any kind of English class would know that there is a proper name and his name is Jesus. And hallelujah, I don't say this out of spite. I don't say this out of enviness. I don't say this out of hatred. But I say this with the love of God in my heart to share the gospel with you, to share the truth with you because I love you and I want you to make it to heaven more than anything. I don't want to just soak up all this truth and keep it in a hidden place, but I want to share the love of God everywhere I go with everybody that I see and that I meet. I want to share the light of Jesus. He said, I was the light of the world, but now you are the light of the world. So we need to be going into the world and we need to be, you know, sharing the love of God and the light of God into each and everybody's life. And most of all, the true word of God into everybody's life. Hallelujah. Y'all, I'm just telling you, I love Jesus. Jesus, and I have so much joy in my heart, praising God. I have so much joy in my heart, um, serving God. This ain't no chore to me. This ain't no, um, oh, I have to do this. But this is, I get to go to church. I get to pray. I get to read my Bible. I get to fast unto the Lord. I get to do things for Jesus. Hallelujah, it's not a chore. It's not a have to, but it's I get to. I want to. I want to grow in God. Not I have to, but I want to grow in God's spirit. I want to share the love of God. I want to do anything and everything that God has called me to be. And I want to do it by bringing each and every one of y'all along the way with me. Hallelujah. You know, God don't just set somebody into a, you know, I call it like a position or into a a, a like an a anointing of God just to shut them up and keep them bound. But you know what? Whenever he anoints someone and he calls them into the ministry, then that's whenever he can use them. He's not going to shut them down, but he's going to put them into a place where they can share whatever that he needs them to share. Hallelujah. He'll open a door whenever the devil tells you there ain't no door to be open. Hallelujah. He will make a way when the devil said there's no way hallelujah he will gift you he will anoint you he will set you on fire he will do all sorts of things if you will just obey he said if you love me keep my commandments Hallelujah. A lot of people say they love Jesus, but loving him is serving him and serving him is loving him. Obeying his wonderful word. If it says do it, let's do it. If it says don't do it, let's just get it out of our lives all the way top to bottom. Let's be holy. He said, I'll be ye holy for I am holy. Hallelujah. And I love this word of God. I tell God, I say, God, write your word on the fleshly tables of my heart. That way I will not sin against you. And that way I can share the love of God and the word of God with the people, everybody that I meet and everybody that I can, Lord, that everybody that needs it, God, and the glory goes to you, Jesus. You know what? That's, I want to mention that one time. Uh, one more time I want to mention it. That's where ministers and preachers and evangelists and all these other people, they get mixed up. Whenever God starts moving, instead of saying, praise God, thank you, Jesus. 
They start lifting up their old self, their old flesh. Well, I done this and I done that. No, you didn't do nothing. But my Jesus done it. My Jesus is the one that healed the sick. My Jesus is the one that saved the people that were out there lost. My Jesus is the one. Don't ever take credit from God or you will go wrong. I mean that with the sincerity of my heart and mind and soul today. Hallelujah, if you've been called and ordained and you are out here preaching the word of God or you out here sharing the love of God with people, just know to always say, that was Jesus that done that. And we're praising Jesus for whatever he done and everything that he done. Because the moment that you start taking credibility for what God has done, you're going to be in a real messed up situation because you have become false and a lie and you've took the glory from our God. But hallelujah, I don't know where all this has come from, but I just felt whenever God says, open your mouth and I will feel it. I'm going to speak what God wants me to speak. Whether the world wants to hear it or not, we've got to share it for the ones that do want to hear it. Hallelujah. Well, y'all, it's been wonderful. I always love coming on here and sharing the love of God, the word of God with y'all. And it's no other place I'd rather be than to be in the arms of God and doing the will of my Father in heaven. And his name is Jesus. God bless you all in Jesus' name. And remember, God loves you. I love you. Keep God number one in your life and you're going to be all right. God bless everybody. Until next time, I can barely wait. Bye-bye.